All right, so now since we've done the, the initial setup of the long line, um, then we can start actually pulling tension, and that's actually where we get into the, the fun or the more exciting aspect of things. Because with long lining, there's a couple different ways that you can play with it to change your experience. You can play with the sag, which relates to the tension, um, and you can also play with weight as well. Um, these are two things that actually give you a lot of you know, different, different training aspects. If you want something with a lot of sag, you know, maybe you want to find um, anchors set up high, or potentially find an area that has a nice concave or a nice dip in the ground so you don't have to set up your anchor so high. It'll allow you to match the, your, your webbing or your tension with the terrain. Um, this is one of the best things about, about long line is just the variability and how much you can play with it. You know, I said before that you can actually add weight to it. So if you wanted a double stack webbing, triple stack webbing, tape some, some rope underneath it just to change the dynamics because these are all things that are going to make you better and improve as a slack liner. It's also going to get you more familiar with different environments that you might be slack lining in. So if you're, if you're hedging towards high lining, you know, adding weight, changing the setup, changing your environment around constantly is actually a really great way to get used to the, the other environmental factors that are, that are within high lining.